So snorers and those with sleep apnea sit at different ends of the spectrum. One end of the spectrum you have people who do not snore and breathe quietly during sleep. Then you have people who simply snore. At the other end of the spectrum you have people who snore, but they snore heavily and in between the snoring they'll actually stop breathing and that is usually because some part of their throat, their larynx or pharynx has obstructed and they will do that in intervals throughout the night. The consequence of having obstructive sleep apnea is one, it disturbs your quality of sleep, it affects your daytime function. In an adult it will mean excessive sleepiness throughout the day and certainly if you're diagnosed with obstructive sleep apnea the um, DVLA will ask you to relinquish your license until such time you've had effective treatment for your obstructive sleep apnea. Obviously there are degrees of sleep apnea and this certainly wouldn't count for mild cases of sleep apnea. And treatment is usually around weight loss, improving the tone of your neck muscles and in most circumstances it may mean wearing what we call a CPAP device, is a mask that fits over the nose which uh, pushes in air under pressure and keeps your airway open. If we talk about simple snorers, this is usually a social handicap and there are surgical inter interventions that can be indicated in managing these patients but on the whole they're not reliable and they are prone to um, relapse and recurrences of snoring over time. Mm -hmm.